hello everyone welcome back to geo special tutorial today let's learn how to import an image from google earth and carry out supervised and unsupervised classification in arc map first of all let's open google earth and navigate to the portion of the image for which we have to carry out supervised classification once you select an area go to file and go to the option save and save image here you have these options now here where you can change the resolution and click on save image you can proceed to the location wherever you want to save it and give a name i'll give it a name as google earth so i have saved this portion of the image and I will do supervised and unsupervised classification for this image in Google Correction Arc Map. Let's open Arc Map and open that image in this window. Click Add Data button and navigate to the place wherever you have saved. And the file name is Google Earth, and here it is. I have opened it and the dialog box says that unknown spatial reference which basically means to say that the image is not georeferenced if at all you want to do georeferencing before carrying out supervised and unsupervised classification go through the tutorial you will find a video where you can georeference using arc map now click ok and your image is displayed in the map now you have three bands RGB now here is the classification uh, menu it may not be available in all the versions you just have to write, do a right click here and go to image classification and select that so that it will come over here now first of all let's do unsupervised classification you have a iso cluster unsupervised classification method just click on that and you will have a dialog box which will ask you the number of classes in the image here you have selected the image let's be there like that and let's specify the number of classes i'll specify number of classes as eight and you can select the place where you want to save the result and this is the unsupervised classification let's click ok and the process is in progress there you go this is your unsupervised classification result this was your image and presently you have the unsupervised classification results displayed in your map so you have eight classes together and you can name the classes accordingly as ever whatever you feel like probably this would be the water body you can just confirm using the image here is a water body let's see what is the color given to water body this color so here is your color for the water body just you can just go there and change the nomenclature to water body so similarly you can carry out the same thing for all the classes you can just go to the properties and here are your values labeling i can change it to water And say this as uh, vegetation etc etc generally water will be in uh, blue color so I will even change the color to blue and the vegetation into green so similarly I can do for all the classes depending on the requirement so now you know see the water is in blue and the vegetation is here in green color so that's about the supervised classification unsupervised classification let's do supervised classification now let's remove this image and go back to the original image 
unsupervised unclassified image and go to the classification window here you have so many options maximum likelihood for which you need a signature file basically so this is the sample maker here you can create the training samples now i'll create training samples for this particular file here you have an option to draw polygon just take this and click here so this class is water and the color will change it to blue similarly let's click here on the vegetation and type this as vegetation and change the color to green similarly you can go on adding so many classes depending on your requirement I will not name these classes I'll keep as they are and carry out the process now you can just save the signature file click here and save signature I'm saving this as Google Earth as a signature file click save and your signature file is saved now close this and let's go to classification and maximum likelihood classification what maximum likelihood basically does is among all the pixels will be compared with these four classes and whatever is very likely to be in a particular class will be classified under that class for example a pixel looks more like green for which we have defined it as a vegetation will be classified under vegetation a pixel which is very similar to blue will be classified under water body so input signature file you need to specify which is google earth again this is the gs dot gsg is the signature file click open and now your classification is done and your uh, all the pixels have been classified under four classes as defined in the signature file here is your classified image you can go to the properties and change the properties as we have done for previous classes just change the value to water this is not water we'll keep it as one and uh, this will be water as per the classification of course you can make it more accurate to get the highly accurate image i have just vaguely done this and go to this one this is vegetation and click apply and close it you have the classification of the images here how about creating a map with this now if you want to create map for the same go to view and go to layout view which will give you the layout view of the same and I have obviously explained it in some other uh, uh, tutorial I just want you how this legend looks here now we go to legend and add legend now you select the legend item that you want to add I'll select the yum class jpeg one that is the supervised classification and click next you can specify the borders etc etc i'll keep it like that and i'll click finish your legend will be created in the map this is how the legend is created and you can do all other things required for the map 
as shown in another video in the same tutorial about creating the map or cartography using ArcMap. That's all about importing an image from Google Earth and doing classification.